اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In the last session we looked into how to run simple moderation analysis with continuous variables in SPSS. In this session we are going to look into how to report moderation analysis with a slope. Now let's run it again go to analyze regression linear and I've already got my details here. Let's put this one back. Now let's run it without the moderator, add the independent variable and I am interested in assessing the impact of role ambiguity on the dependent variable as well. If you are not, you can keep it out. In this case, let's say I am and let's press OK and this is without the moderating effect. Now the reason I ran it without the moderating effect is that I need R square with and without the moderating effect. Now R square included that is including the moderating effect, R square excluded that is excluding the moderating effect because this will help me calculate my F square that is with regard to the interaction effect the F square effect size indicates how much the moderation contributes to the explanation of endogenous construct and this is the formula. So to report moderation analysis I need R square, I need my path coefficients T statistic and P value. I need F square which can be calculated using this formula and finally I will need my slope analysis that is the slope or moderation plot if you want to call it. So what is my hypothesis? My hypothesis is role ambiguity negatively moderates the positive relationship between collaborative culture and organizational performance. Now how does it moderate such that increased role stress, sorry for typing error let's call it role ambiguity, weakens the relationship between CC and OP. So the re positive relationship between collaborative culture and organizational performance is weakened by role ambiguity. The study assessed the moderating role of role ambiguity RA on the relationship between collaborative culture and organizational performance. Now without the inclusion of moderating effect, that is the interaction effect, what was my R square? Here it is. The R square was 0.348. Let's write it 348. This shows that 34.8%. So if you change it into percentage, that is simply multiplying it with 100, you will have it. The percentage in OP is accounted by collaborative culture and role ambiguity because I've got two exogenous or independent variable. Now with the inclusion of interaction term, the R square increase to now let's in add the interaction term analyze regression linear go to next here it is edit press ok now here it is 0.348 without the interaction term and 0.363 with the interaction term so we will add it 0.363 that is 36.3 percent and what is the difference between the two let's have a look i will need excel as well to make some calculations so i'll open excel now so is equal to 0 0.34 or rather 363 minus 0 0.348 And the difference is 0 0.015 that is 1.5 percent if you convert it into percentage this shows an increase in 1.5 percent or an increase of 1.5 percent in variance explained in the dependent variable by the independent variables in this case your cc your ra and your interaction term now is this increase significant well we will find out soon Further, the significance of moderating effect was analyzed. The results revealed a negative and significant moderating impact of RA on the relationship of CC and OP. Now, if is your interaction effect significant? Let's have a look. Here it is. 
is it significant yes it is significant the beta is negative that is the moderator negatively affects the relationship between cc and op so what was the existing relationship the existing relationship between cc and op is positive and this is negative so this means that this negative here this interaction term or the moderator weakens the relationship between cc and op so it's minus 095 and your t statistics is minus 2.741 741 and the p value is 0 0.006 hence your hypothesis is supported this shows that with an increase in role stress or rather role ambiguity sorry for the typing error the relationship between cc and op is weakened or the positive relationship between cc and op is weakened now moderation analysis summary is presented in table one let's add the table one so what you what is your moderating effect it was minus 0 0.095 your standard error 0 0.034 0 0.034 your t value minus 2.741 if i'm not wrong 0.006 now what is the impact of cc on op you can copy it from here so you can copy the impact of cc on op and ra on op just copy these values into this table as we did for the interaction effect now how do we get this slope analysis so let's first get the slope now for this i've got the stats tool package developed by james gaskin it's available on the website statwiki.com i'll share the link in the description as well so i've got my independent variable which is collaborative culture collaborative culture my moderator is role ambiguity my dependent variable is op so here you will have to write your path coefficient so independent variable that is cc and its impact on op so the impact of cc on op 0 0.502 0 0.502 and the moderator on dependent variable 0 0.200 and interaction is 0 0.095 now in this case in order to assess or understand this moderation graph you need to look at which line is steeper now in this case the red line is much steeper in comparison to the blue line so we are going to analyze the steepness of gradient and here if we look here we see that ra strengthens the positive relationship why am i saying ra strengthens the positive relationship because we made a mistake here and the mistake was that this is the moderating or interaction effect is negative rather than positive now this is fine ra dampens the positive relationship between cc and op so make sure the signs are right now in this case if i see here this line here the blue line seems much steeper in comparison to the red line and this shows that when you've got low role ambiguity here let me draw it out so at low role ambiguity here this is your impact of organizational this is the impact of collaborative culture on organizational performance but at low role ambiguity if you increase your collaborative culture there is a steeper increase in organizational performance look at this now if you look at the red line here that is high role ambiguity at high role ambiguity although we are increasing the collaborative culture but it is not leading or increasing the organizational performance in a similar manner 
So, at high role ambiguity, although you are increasing the collaborative culture, it's not leading or it's not improving the organizational performance in a similar manner that was the case with low role ambiguity. So, this shows that role ambiguity weakens the positive relationship between CC and OP. That is, at high role ambiguity, although you are increasing this collaborative culture, but it is not leading or it is not increasing the organizational performance in a similar manner as with low role ambiguity. So this is how you can understand your slope analysis. You just have to look at the steepness of gradient. Which one is steeper? This one is much steeper here. Blue line. So at low role ambiguity, if you increase collaborative culture, this leads to a higher improvement or increase in organizational performance. Now, how do you write it? So let me copy it first. Let's copy it. And once I copy it, let me paste it here. So here is your graph. And let's see how we analyze it. Further slope analysis is presented to better understand the nature of moderating effects, that is figure 1. As shown in figure 1, the line is much steeper for low role ambiguity. Let's have a look. So it is much steeper for low role ambiguity. This shows that at low level of role ambiguity, the impact of CC on OP is much stronger in comparison to high role ambiguity. However, at high ro higher role stress or however, at higher role ambiguity, the line tends to straighten, which is the case here. Look at this. At high, the line ten tends to straighten. Now, what does this mean? This means that at higher role ambiguity, the increase in CC, that is your independent variable, does not lead to a similar change in OP that was a case of lower role ambiguity. In conclusion, higher role ambiguity weakens the impact of CC on OP. Now further, you can calculate F square. How do you calculate F square? We are going to use this particular formula. Let's do it in Excel. So, the F square will be, so R square included, that is, including the moderating effect was 0.3. Let's have a look, let me have a look again. R square included. So, this is your model 2, 0.363. Minus R square excluded 0 0.348 and then you simply divide it by 1 minus R square included 1 minus 0 0.363. Now now this is 0 0.02. F square effect size was 0 0.02 and according to Cohen proposition 0 0.02, 0 0.15 and 0 0.35 constitute small, medium and large effect sizes. Now, in this case, the moderating effect has a small effect size. Thank you very much.